that's just a, a, a swage that's just rolled over yeah i can make that I just put an angle put it in a stretcher fold a stretcher shrinker stretch shrinker stretcher and then we can make it all up as we go along She made all of this lot up, all the inside in there, all of that had to be replaced. Um, this is our customer wanted it done because it takes a long time. If you look at that, yeah, I've got to grind that weld down, but you can't see any of the other weld lines because that's how I do things. But the customer said it's taking too long. So on the rear here, I've just laid plates over the top, which is obviously an awful lot quicker. Yeah, because you see, you see all that, that's all rust holes. So all I'll do is just put a plate back in over there, tack it round, and then you use brush on seam seal all the way around it. Yeah. Um, it's not it's not the prettiest way of doing things, but it, it, it does the same job, you know? But the problem we've got here is, I've got to make this, all of that lot if you look at the other side then you can see what it looks like that nice curve there yeah so all, all of that's remade and made all of that so it all tallies in nicely this is all new that's all new but the other side the door hits the actual wheel arch see that mark there look so it doesn't see hmm so all of this is wrong. So it's either had a clout up the back at some point, and that door's a little bit high, but you've got a, you've got a reasonable gap there, a reasonable gap there. See, and it's it's very tight there, which is why I've done the pencil marks around to trim it back. Yeah. So I don't know what's happened. They could be doors off of a different car. You just don't know. So start off by measuring so we've got 41 inches there yep yeah, they're about the same so we've both got 41 there so that is 26 and a quarter see that is roughly 26 and a quarter a little bit over so in theory the car is the right shape check the back door there that door, that side is one, two, three, four, five sixteenths of an inch longer. Which is where your problem is. You know the floor pan measures right? Yeah. That door's too long. Just, just over the 42 and a half inches. And that is 43 inches. So we're half an inch, we're basically just over three quarters of an inch longer on these two doors. On the bottom edge, that's ridiculous. Seven foot long across those doors. <laughs> it's a big car. It is a big car. Right, that's two sixteenths under seven foot. Well, your belt line's about right, so it's the bottoms of the doors that are wrong. My thinking cap on. Yeah, there's a plan, Stan. <laughs> My miracle hat. Slightly bigger gap there because that door's riding up where it's hitting somewhere down there. So if that drops, see that, it's only that little bit, look, see? Mm. Where I've marked the swage. So that, when that's removed the metal down there, that'll drop that door very, very slightly. First things first, let's beat it with a big hammer. Bit of a gap there. You don't see the door gap when the bubble's on here, but that's not the point, you know what I mean? Right, that shuts now. So 
So let's give it a tweak on that. Sway's line's coming down, isn't it? Right, that's your Sway's line perfect now. I think what we'll do is take the back wing off, remake this piece. Because it's all knackered anyway, look. Right, so I can't really remember, it's been so long, so all of that edge is going to have to come off. Look, that's added, that's lead. So we'll cut all of that out to plate that up. I'll have to repair that corner. At least we know where we're going now. Right, well, let's chop that out to that swage first. It might not be big enough, but. That's got that much lead in it, look. So it's bollocks, basically. So that's gonna have to all come out. Cause you can't weld to lead anyway, so it's gotta come out. I'll have to cut it to there, yeah? Remake that piece first, then remake that piece and put that in because I can't, you, could, you can't weld it down that line there because you'll never get in to grind it out properly. So you might as well just chop it off there and just put another piece in completely. Didn't want to go that far, but if it's knackered, it's knackered, isn't it? Okay, so let's make an angle up. We'll just put him in there. Is anything you've got to be mindful of at all? No, just making sure you leave it, because leave it, if you bear in mind you've got one layer, that'll be two layers, and then another return there, once you've built all the insides. you just got to make sure you don't make this too tight. So you can put another layer on it, mm. you know? Otherwise you'll be back in the same situation again. Well, it, it's not so much that, it's that and that, because you've got to maintain that there, and you've got to line that up with your sill there. We know the door's folded in a bit, so that's not an issue, but I've got plenty there where I've made that little bit, so. <laughs> 10 mil return. Yeah, 10 mil of this. So now we want our stretcher. Just a little bit more. Right, so let's put a shrinker in because we've got to get a curve in it that way as well which is going to be hard to do but you can get that when you're welding it so you want to get the basic shape first of all you know mm. right so let's take the worst of that out I think the rest of that I'll splice. Nice gap there, yeah? Yeah. 
and we've got enough return there to set that wherever we like. But that gives us plenty of leeway on a gap that way, plenty of leeway on a gap that way. So I'll just trim all that in now, make all the little infills. Can connect it up with the lower sill. Yeah, that's a solid starting space then, and you should, in theory, that's obviously where I've hit that. That should be reasonably parallel, which it is. Obviously, because that'll come back out, yeah? That's it. All good. Next week on the workshop. If it's a Ford, it's called a Fordomatic. If it's a Mercury, it's called a Mercomatic. <laughs> <laughs> which is really silly.